Good day everybody. Welcome back to the studio. I hope everybody's doing well. And um, creating lots of nice art. Um, yesterday I posted a video of how I made these guys. And a friend of mine, Yvette, actually, Evie, said, she made a comment. She says, it looks a little bit like the effect looks a bit like a, a mushroom. Um, the inside of a mushroom sort of upside down when you turn it. it and it does how interesting so anyway let's see how I go now because I wanted to use some colors the same and some not so here we go I'm gonna get some um, bright gold pigment powder this is so what I should do is Somebody corrected me and I said, I do know that, but I just try to make it a bit easier because I was mixing my colors on my board. And this lady said, you know, you shouldn't really be saying that, but I did pretty much say in, in the video, um, don't do this. I'm just doing it so that you can see and it makes it a bit quicker for me. So anyway, let's, let's do it right. It's, I mean, it does, does help the newbies because the newbies will, will kind of follow what you do. A little bit of bright gold pigment powder going in there. Just going to give it a little mix. Ah, there they go. They're all over the place. Give them a little mix with my beautiful little plastic stirrer. Let me try and pick this up and wipe it. Now, the next one is going to be another um, pigment powder. It's a satin gold, the same one that I've used in that, that other coaster I just showed you. So I want quite a bit. I should have used bigger cups. I'm using little cups and, uh, yes. But I want, actually, I will use a bigger cup for the white because I want quite a bit of that. There we go. I'm just going to cut this the rim of this cup and make it a slightly smaller and it's also easier to pour out of it. So tip you in there. This white is not a really fine powder. Well it is fine but it's not uh, flaky so it's not going to fly everywhere like some of, some of them do. And I will need a bigger stirrer too now. So I get this big mama. Aren't these cool? And pour a little bit of resin in there. So if you haven't watched that video where I show you how I made those coasters, go and watch it because it's interesting and so easy the way I did it. So I'm hoping that I can... I actually did it with just picking up the resin that was kind of um, sitting on the table from a previous piece so interesting let's see if I can recreate something with slightly different colors now this one is um, pink panther it is a really really transparent paste so I'm trying to it's also separated a little bit so I just want to scrape it off the bottom it's very transparent so using different viscosities here, different types of, of pigments. So, okay, here we go. I've got a little bit. Ah, I think I want a bit more than that. So that's going to be quite transparent. Wow, look at that. I will show you. I hope I remember at the end of the video. If not, I will just make another video and show you how, what to do with these transparent pigments if you're worried, if you, you're not sure what to do with them um, because they are lovely just like that. And this one I made, both both these, this is La Raz. Um, I made them with a different, different material, different type of pigment and uh, they turned out really interesting but 
not like a paste that you're used to maybe oh I think I've got maybe a bit too much here let me get some off and then I'll scrape some that should be enough I'm, I'm, and okay and so I've got some liquid pigments as well I'm just going to pop them in and then I'll stir off camera because I use liquid pigments in the other one so I'm trying to mimic it a little bit so I've got rainforest green one two three four five drops we'll put in there and I've got uh, blue horizon or the horizon blue liquid liquid pigment really pretty one two three four five six went in there you can I, I don't mind if I make these a little bit see this is transparent it's the same as that but this is so much more pigmented that it's darker okay and let's check this one now yeah I do want a little bit more of this rainforest number six went in there I'll put another couple because the white's gonna tone everything down so let me just go and mix everything and I'll be okay so while I'm waiting for my resin to set up a little bit because I well not to set up but to start to to um, to cure because I want it quite thick for this piece I just want to show you what you can do with these transparent pastes because as you can see that is quite transparent unless you want that or you pour it over a, a, a darker surface it is quite transparent okay but look how we can transform this now let me just I'm just gonna should I mix it I suppose I should just get a little cup and do it otherwise I'll just no I'll mix it on the board so you can see okay let's go this one is the pink panther let me just pop it down here now you can get let me grab the other one as well this is La Raz. it's like a La Raspberry look how pretty that is but quite transparent so let's see if I can show you how you can jazz these up and make them La Jazz <laughs> right so let's just grab a little bit over here and just grab a little bit over here wiping a little bit there and a little bit here All right let's just see I've got ready to go okay so I've got some sun catcher shimmery here and I'm just going to take a little bit and pop it in here and look what happens I'm going to try and zoom you in later just just check it out and it's changed the viscosity immediately and it's changed the color and look how pretty that is that is just with the sun catcher okay now let's go <coughs> let me try a little bit of this uh, blue diamond this is another shimmer I don't want to put too much I've already tried these and I put too much of the blue and it totally changes so I just want to put a smidgen on there just to show you how that even the smidgen even a smidgen you need half a smidgen look at that so beautiful and shimmery and turned it into a really gorgeous uh, like a violet color that's so nice as well hope you can see those colors it always comes out a bit wrong um, and then I've got what is this one purple spell little smidgen put it in there and let's see what happens here now adds the shimmer adds the um, makes it thicker makes it more dense wow look at that I don't know if you can see how shimmery that is just by adding a tiny little bit and that there oh my goodness 
that is sun catcher sun catcher okay so let's try it with this darker one Let's get a little bit of sun catcher in there. You don't have to put a lot. You put as much or as little as you want. Look at that. Okay, so I did the same with with this uh, with the Lebras color, and slightly different, just to show you what you can do with these transparents. And you can do the same thing with liquid pigments as well with your with your tints. And uh, yeah. So I'm not going to be using these for this pour because I want to try and create that other design. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it all up and I'm not wasting this. And put it in a little cup and have it there ready for <laughs> look at the combination of all of them. Ready for next time and uh, cup coming up. Okay, so here we are. We are back. So I'm going to start pouring now. And I'm going to start with this one here. It's going to have more of a like a green. I might just start in the middle and I'm just going to do a dirty pour one into the other. Actually, this is the blue. Sorry. Blue coming down. And then I'm going to go in with my white. Oh, it's warming up. The cup, that's good. It's, it's going to happen. Because I have that thing there, it's going to change everything. I'm going to go in with the gold. And I'm going to go in with maybe one of these. Just see what happens. Open it right up. I think this one's going to totally disappear. Wow, it's changed the color completely. Now I'm going to go in with the blue again. Each one's going to be a different color. Wow, that's so cool. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Bit of that one. And I think I'm just going to top it up with the uh, clear. How much room have I got? Maybe I'll go a little bit more with the gold, actually. And then the clear. I've got to hurry because. My battery's flashing. Whoop, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so that's good for that one. Leaving that one alone. Let's go next one. I'm going to pour over this little thing that I used for another piece that I did. And I might start with the uh, green this time. It's going to be difficult getting that right in there. Now let's see if I can do it. Go in with a green and swirling one way. And then I'm going to go in with my white. This is just like a little cap from something. I think it's one of the kids' yogurts or something like that. Wow, it's all happening down there. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was from from a yogurt or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Now I'm going to go in with my... This is the lighter pink. It is so transparent. Super transparent. Oh, I like that. It's so cool. Like a flower. And then the gold. Oh, I hope we're still rolling. I can't look up. Focusing too much. And, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Buddy, buddy, buddy. There you go. Yep, we're still rolling. That's looking so cool, honestly. I think I'm going to go in a bit more with this pink. It is actually happening. You can sort of see it there. It's pushing it. 
go that way. I think, okay, and maybe some more white again on top. Completely different. And I'm going to gently pull it out of there. Oh, it ain't gonna be easy to do it. Right, okay, so that's that. And maybe some clear now to top it up again. Wow, look at this one. Very interesting. Got my height, Just trying to break through that. Alright, next one is this one here. We will start with. I do like the blue. Let's just do all of them in here. Please don't stop recording. Please don't stop recording. Okay, let's go. One. Blue. And then gold. See, it's starting to thicken up. I like that. And then the white. It's not moving as, as fast now. Well, I've lost that blue completely. I'm going to go again with the blue. And then the white. Just a little bit. And then one of these. Quite a bit of that. And some gold again. Okay, so I've done that now. Now I'm just going to top it up a little bit with my clear. Just to bring it up a bit. And a bit more. Make sure it's flowing and okay right now I've got another one I might start this one with the green no maybe I'll do the edges I might just do it do it this way slightly different going with gold Wow, the gold's gone real thick. And then go in with this one. And then some white, which I forgot. And some more gold. Ah. over here I do want some gold up here as well actually down there oh what the mess sticky hands and everything and then oh should I do that one let's, let's go in with a green again here See how this one turns out with that interesting technique, and then we're going to just go in with the clear just from up here. And see how that's pushing it out that way. That wasn't meant to happen. And then I'm just going to go around and top up. 
Okay, so they're all looking really interesting and this one's quite full, but I do want to put just like a little drop of this white, just here. I know it's quite full. And then I'm just going to get the heat gun. Actually, they're all really, really full. I should probably try to suck some of this one out. And hopefully not ruin it. Alrighty. Yeah, because it just had too much in there. Alright, I can use that. Right. Um, okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, little torch just very carefully wow that is so interesting so different oh I didn't do the middle lucky I've got some left gosh golly gosh okay very lucky okay let's go in with pink Oh, careful there. And a little bit with white, actually. White. Maybe around like that. And then I'm going to go in with the gold. Not a lot of it in there. And then I'm just going to go in with the blue. I think I really like this horizon blue. Such a pretty, pretty colour. Pop it in there like that. And I do need to heat it up a little bit to, to help it move. And if I can scrape up a little bit more of this clear would be amazing. And yep, yeah, that's it. I'm going to move this one and let it sit. And I can't wait to unmold it just to see what the other side looks like. This is amazing. And that, see how it's sort of closed in nicely? From that one. I just can't wait to see how in the middle. It's going to be interesting to see. And I just did a little dragonfly because I had some leftover resin. But yeah, let's see how this turns out. I just want to do a little swirl here. Oh, and it's already starting to set. See how it's dragging that now? Hopefully. It still looks better than what it was. All right. Okay, it's been a few hours. This is a fast setting resin. And I still got a little bit of mess here. I do apologize. Um, but they are set. But they're probably a little bit, still a little bit um, soft. But I just couldn't wait. I just want to see what it looks like underneath. So I'm just going to go around and release the mold a bit. There we go, look at that. And I've got my gloves on because I don't want to leave any anything on, on these. So I'm just going to very carefully pull them out. Okay, here we go, here's one. Now, <clears throat> I really want to... How was it? Was it like this? This is how they were. Okay, I just want to reflect on how I actually poured them. Okay, that is quite see-through, like you can see underneath there. And I will take some... Wow! That is awesome. That is awesome. 
Wowzer. Okay, this is that lovely blue. Like I said, it's still a little bit soft. Try not to hurt it. See through, you can see my glove underneath there. Oh! Whoa! Oh, wow! Wow! Well, you wouldn't know which way to, 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 to use it. It just looked, they look so great either way. Alrighty, this was the blue that I did. You can see through here into the gold and let's flip it over. Whoa. Oh, wow. So these were all like pours one into the other. That's what you get. That. Oh, my goodness. There's no pink. I can't see any pink anywhere. Is there any pink in here? Oh, yep. I see a little bit of pink there. Nothing here. Yep, definitely a bit of pink there. And this one was the one that I actually poured from the corner and that's what you get so these ones were poured like a dirty pour one into the other wow okay wow this is spectacular there's that bit of white that I've popped in there this is so amazing if you could just see the depth you can actually see through this is clear everything here is clear and you can see through it into the green and the the gold and the gold looks all bubbly underneath it i don't think the camera picks it up camera doesn't pick it up in 3d anyway let's see the middle that i nearly ah i'm making a mess now i've got to do it here because i dipped it into something okay so this way okay so this was the front which is pretty cute very cute and this is the back of it look at that I wouldn't call it a feathery effect I don't know what effect this is but it's definitely really really cool really cool I'm not going to try and interlock them or anything like that because they're still pretty soft and I just want to leave them there. Let's get my my dragonfly out. I already had something in this mold. I had a bit of molten gold, I think, from the other day. And, oh my goodness, look at that. That's like broken up. It just looks bit flaky but so nice so subtle yes it's very soft still and even that side is so lovely do oh my goodness okay so i'm going to leave this i'm going to take some close-up shots and um anyway yeah um, i hope you like it let me know what you think let me know please in the comments i really appreciate your your input Bye for now. Thanks for watching.